Hello. Welcome back to the podcast. Hi. I am your host. Is it host of this podcast? It's still a host, right? Whatever. Welcome back to the podcast. <laughs> I'm Mr. Madeover. Hello, and I am Mrs. What am I? Am I my am I made over? I hope you are. <laughs> I guess I'm Mrs. Made over. <laughs> You got a question that you made over <laughs> self evaluation. Hey, look, what it is. you mm-hmm. named yourself. You didn't give me a name. You just say, "Hey, yo, you gonna be on this or not?" At the end of the day, I feel like everybody should be made over. Right, I understand that, but I in his see. image, I feel this thing. But that's your that's your name. That's not your my name. <sighs> Mo, M O, made over. That was given to me, honestly. And you'll get the whole breakdown of that. Um. Well, I don't have an. I mean, that's what I'm saying. So if you mo, am I? I mean, am I Mrs. Mo or am I just? You have to be because you. If you, I mean, if you're married to me, then you're married into the mo. Right, which but, is made over. But then I don't have a name. How you don't got a name? Okay, never mind. I'm just, I was just asking. Okay, well, I'm Mrs. Mo. Hi. <laughs> After questioning so many times, <laughs> um, I hope y'all enjoyed these th- those last few pod. What second? What two? You got two, three in there? About to be three. Let's be the third one. Let's be the third one. Three. Um, I know that. Y- I know y'all gonna trip out when y'all see that. Which the pour up, the pour up one. Oh. <laughs> pour it up. But um, interesting things. They have been going on. Has it? Really? Like what? Now listen. I always tell people, you know, like, I won't have you do anything that I won't do. <laughs> Somebody approached me the other day and asked me about working out every day. So I said, I don't think that's good because, you know, you got to get your... Your muscles time to heal. You got to give yourself time to, you know, recuperate. If anybody in the workout industry they know that rest is important, that's what you're talking. Is me. one of the most key component things to actually working out. Right. So, but I said I, I like I've never tried it. I've never done it. I've never worked out every day. So you telling me that somebody came? You didn't tell me that in the beginning. In the beginning was the word. So I said, you know something? Let me test it out. So I'm on this kick. I started this month. We're about four days in. No, we're not. We're five. Today is the fourth, ain't it? We started Thursday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh, four. Okay, whatever. I can't count. So we're four days in. That's why I don't do math. <laughs> <laughs> we're four days in, you know. Y'all, and I wasn't gonna do this. Now, in the beginning, I asked my wife. I said, "So you gonna, you know?" I said, "You gonna work out?" No, no. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do my regular. No, but for some reason, she inches out there. Cause he cute, <laughs> boo. <laughs> I mean, like, are we working out every day or not? We have been work. I have worked out every day, four days. Now I did pull something. In my knee, I feel better though. Now, listen, but I'm tracking this journey to see the benefits and also the um, basically the pros and cons right. of this whole working out daily. I'm gonna do it for like what two two months. I'm gonna do you gonna try do- for two months, and uh, I'm gonna see what happens. Um, two months. No, two I months. You also said you weren't working out. No, I didn't say I wasn't working out. I said I was not going to work out every single day. You on your fourth day? <laughs> Touche. You, you look up. You be on day yeah, six. <laughs> <laughs> but no. um, uh, during this workout drill, I have really um cut a lot. I've cut a lot. My wife was like, "Ooh, nah." I don't like this. So, 
I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put some more size on, and uh. <laughs> You act like you was scrawny. Like I, you made it seem like I was like you scrawny. I mean, I didn't call you no out. No. See these things. Let me tell you what happened. I put the shirt on. This shirt is falling off of you. <laughs> <laughs> excuse excuse not, me for losing. That is not how excuse, that works. Excuse me for losing. I'm trying to works. trim up. I'm trying to get some definition. I was going for like five to seven percent body fat. Y'all don't listen to him. But like your larges are now like too big. They feel like they feel like an extra large. In my midsection, right? Yeah, midsection his arms part. are fine. Yeah, you know. Yeah. The, the uh. I'm sorry. It's just the 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 midsections from uh Krispy Kremes have went down. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I can't. But today's um podcast, we're going to be dealing with. I mean, you seen the title. No sense of doing no drum roll. Time and money. Time I mean, and money. Which I mean, which one to you is more important? Time or money? Or money? <laughs> you told me to think about this, and I'm like, mm-hmm. I told you to. You did. So I'm, I didn't think you, about it because I'm a fly off the cuff. So to you, it's 24 hours in a day, man. And it seems, it <laughs> seems to be more money. It seems, catch this. I want you to catch this. It seems to be uh-huh. more money than time. But is it? Is it, wait, okay. Is there, is it more money than it is time? Is that what Because a lot of people, they chase more of the money than the aspect as far as time wise like no I okay so I, I kind of thought about this when he shot it at me like again because I'm like what was the topic again okay because we don't like really discuss the topics because I just want to be able to fly off the cuff so I would say that it does seem to be more money than time, but time is what is important. That's what I would say. But um, I'm talking about to you. That's what I'm talking about to me. Like wh- what is, okay. Well, what I mean that it seems that way. I would still take the time. Okay, you said you would take time, right? Oh, here we go. See, I love this here type of go. stuff. Here we go again. So, what? Don't. What's more important? I just said the time is more important. Okay. <laughs> Explain <laughs> why you feel like the time is more okay. important. Okay. Time. We're is... doing a straight podcast, and you give him one answer. <laughs> Give it one answer uh, response. <laughs> Cause I'm think like I'm think like you because this is what you do. You go through this thing where like you made me second guess myself because of how you respond to what I say. <laughs> because so, I love people. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, so okay, <laughs> let me go with my initial thing because he's trying to like throw me off. But um, so um, you but you have a way of making it seem like. You do, whatever. Okay. So anyway, so for me, time is the thing that's more important because money is, you. Are, well, I just started recently here, you know, money y'all can always be made, which is true. But then I look at it like this, right? Now I can get money today <laughs> and then I can hit up Target, Hobby Lobby, <laughs> and whatever else and then it's gone so like the and it, it can be gone in a matter of moments but then if you take the time time is more precious and time is more valuable because that is something that you can never get back right so for me time is of more importance because you have to be able to cherish that moment 
Like you have to be able to cherish that moment in time because it's not going to stop. It's not going to pause. It's not going to rewind itself. It's going to continue to move forward. So if you don't take advantage of the time, then, I mean, you really have nothing. Like you've wasted a lot of time. It's funny because people waste both money. They do. They waste. Time. Yeah, they waste both. So my thing is this. Why are we not maximizing in time? Because we're preoccupied with everything else that don't matter. Because if you look at Oprah, you look at... Um, I was about to say Stedman. <laughs> same thing. Uh, <laughs> you look at um, Tyler Perry. Right. Tyler, what's up? Um, you look at um, Warren Buffett. Yeah, you better Google Warren Buffett. Okay, I will be Googling that. He For said real. Google. Google. Like, you Google a lot of the wealthy people. Mm -hmm. The crazy part is that we all got the same time within the day. Right, 24 but hours. only certain people. Maximize it. Maximize their time. Right. And I mean, we see, but we, we see it every day because of the simple fact that when we wake up, What's the, I mean, well, or, or we could just say, hey, rhetorical question. When you wake up in the morning, what's the first thing that you do? What's the first thing you do? What's the first thing I do? It depends on the day. Because sometimes it's go to the bathroom. And then sometimes it may be read my devotional. And then sometimes it may be post whatever today's message is on Facebook and Instagram. Or well, not Instagram, not Facebook, but on um, on Instagram and then sometimes I will go to Facebook because I check the weather and then I look to see what our bishop has posted because usually it's something profound because there's certain people that post when, I, when I'm up mm -hmm. there's certain people that post so I do try to reshare um, but yeah like before I before I hit the bed it's like okay Lord thank you for today one and then I'm either devotional, doing my devo devotional in the bed, or I'm doing it, you know, in my morning precious gotcha. time. So that's kind of how I go. But like I said, it depends because if I wake up and then the girls are up, that may look different for me. On the weekends, that looks completely different. On the weekday, it does. But every moment now I value. So it's not, I used to be like, on the weekends, I want to sleep in. Um, but that don't happen in our house. Say so good luck. It's not the girls and my body are both on the school time, so sleeping in for us is like seven thirty eight, and that's like legit right on point on a Saturday, and usually on Sunday sometimes. And so whatever I can do to maximize that time, then I'm trying to do that. So if I can get everything kind of fit in a day. In a checklist, then I'm good to go. I think my first thing is that I'm beginning to learn the importance of time ahead. Like for me, I tell everybody, chess is one of my favorite games. It is. And I think a well thought out plan from before I go to sleep, I'm usually number you one. Out your day. I've thought out the whole week. I've planned the whole week. Yes. And I've I have goals and I have things in mind like, okay, I wanna do this this week. Mm -hmm. I already know like without even putting together a calendar or yeah, or ooh. anything like that. Can't do that. Um I'm very intentional about my living now because Mm -hmm. I remember when I used to wake up and just wake up just to wake up with no purpose, right. no type of driven for nothing, except, you know, man, I will hope that something will come along during the day mm -hmm. that will spark me to say, oh, maybe I should do this. Right. But for me, I'm so intentional as far as when it comes to, I feel like my life, if I don't maximize on it, then... I'm doing my family a disservice. Right. 
as being head of the house, uh, as being a righteous man of God, I feel like everything should be planned out. I don't feel like you should just wake up each day. And, not have and if you make a list of things to do, I'm not saying you're going to be able to do all of those, everything on that list because right. we're dealing with time and we're dealing with uh, life. When right. you're dealing with life and time, it's, it's, it's all, yeah. It, it can it's, get kind of really a, 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 a balance. It's right. Like, okay, since I didn't do this today, I might do it next mm-hmm. week or, or, or the next day because for me, for me, like I said, I have a, a weekly yeah. plan And you do like you do very well with Day to day tasks well weekly Tasks so you have your Whole week set out me I'm a More day to day person um, And that's I'll give you an example I know on Saturdays that's the day Where I, I wake up Early um, if there's Dishes I wash I know washing the Dishes is one of the things fixing the Girls breakfast starting whatever Load of laundry we have so that has become my every Saturday morning routine. And then I'll fix, you know, if I'm eating breakfast, I'll fix that. Then, of course, we visit you to get lunch for them. Um, and so then I have that part. Um, but what I learned this weekend is that um, because time is so precious and we kind of discuss this when it comes to the girls because they're growing. Um I've learned to take little moments just for us. So Friday night, I graded papers to about 10. I started falling asleep about 1030. You were already asleep. And so I graded papers because everybody in the house was asleep. So Saturday, I was like, mm, I'm a great papers. Well, my Saturday went nothing as, plan- as mm. planned. But time-wise, I maximized my time so well to where I still feel accomplished even though I didn't grade one paper Mm -hmm. because I was able to take that moment to say you know what I need time to spend this with our daughters I need time to be able to do this you know whatever it is with you so that's why I say over the time can just go by so fast and if we don't take the moment to pause then we lose it because the biggest thing that I've learned in this season that we're all in with COVID is that (laughs) so much is happening and it's to people of all ages. So they have lost that time. Like they are no longer with us. So for me and then having family members close to losing, you know, their lives all together. So I've just learned that, you know, work is work. And I said, you know what? I have three days of planning this week. So, I use that time to have mommy daughter time. I watched movies with the girls. We went and got ice cream. I sat with you for a little bit. So it just made me feel very accomplished um, Mm -hmm. because I was able to utilize that time. But I had to plan or I have to plan day by day. I have a planner. (laughs) I'm opposite of him because he has it all up here. I can't. I do. I got to do both. Bay, you do not. Where do you write it down at? I, I, I can show you my calendar right now. <laughs> so I have post it notes yeah. where I check off because I like checking off things and I like post it notes and highlighting. I have a work planner to help me stay focused on whatever we have to do. We have a dry erase calendar <laughs> to help right us. Here. I have another personal planner that I just bought to help me stay on track to maximize my time um, spiritually. Um, So finding that opportunity to squeeze in everything that we can um, in a day, because some people say, well, the weekend flew by fast and I'm tired. Because you spent most of the time in the day. I did. And I'm going to be honest. Like... um, I've even set timers for social media apps and you uh, Chrome. So, like, even if I search for, I think it's two hours. If I search for two hours straight, I may have it like three because I do a, everything in Chrome. But I set timers so that I'm not spending all my day on social media. Just you know. um, so I do things like that, and um, I can't. I can't bring myself. To sit still that longer stroll. Like, I think yeah. for me, like, I would feel 
it feel weird to me if I'm sitting yeah, there you, just yeah. just strolling. But I used like, to, yeah. Like, I, I mean, I would literally. It's a feel waste of time. Like life is just passing me by, and it but it does because. <laughs> And I, and I can talk on this because I used to be like very, very, very engulfed in social media and finger scrolling. And I actually, um, I've gotten a whole lot better and I'm more intentional about what I do on there. So I kind of limit myself. So I don't have a face. I don't have the Facebook app. I actually log in through Chrome so I could just close that browser all together. Um, and so that limits strolling. Instagram is not always an issue for me because I can go, you know, whatever time and not even go on there. Now, I may go on my teacher account, mm -hmm. but personal account, I can go without being on there. Um but a lot of that that scrolling, I've stopped. I don't read a lot of news. You taught me that, like not wasting my time, getting engulfed in the news. So, so I, feel like I the read. News is gonna be what the news is gonna. Yeah, be. I read enough. I spend enough time reading things that are giving me the information that I need. So maybe it's like the first paragraph. So you know, when you read introduction, well, ELA teachers read the introduction, and then you know what. To expect so I just read the introduction Skip down to see some highlights And then that's it and then I can log off So um, a lot of my time Is like Amazon and Target ads <laughs> my, A lot of my time Well lately being that I want to I like I'm in this I want to grow Yeah like knowledge wise Right not I just don't want to don't, I mean don't get it twisted I've always been smart um, never thought that I was smart, but, but until, you are. like now I'm like, yeah, I'm reading more. I'm, you I'm, are. I'm listening to a lot of educational stuff. I listen to a lot of podcasts. Yeah. Uh, I'm not just on the podcast, but I listen you to do. a lot of podcasts. That and a lot of your time is that too. Yeah. Because I feel like, um, it's not enough just to be in podcasts. I, I, right. I, I, I feel like you should have some type of knowledge, some type of mm -hmm. gain. And plus, yeah, I mean, you gain a lot from watching you do. people in the same platform that you're in. And here I'm not just in my own bubble, right. you know, trying to, I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those things that the time that I have, because I mean, at the end of the day, we don't know how mm -hmm. much time we have. We left. don't. And for me, I find myself wanting to maximize right. every second. Yeah, and 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 if I don't, like I said earlier, I do myself a disservice not only to myself but to my family. Yeah, and that's what we have to. I think at the end of the day, we have to realize that, especially when we have families, where our time is allocated. Yeah. So um, that's why I said for me, a lot of my finger scrolling is if I wake up in the middle of the night and I can't sleep, I'll do, I might look, like I said, I do Amazon, I'll do, um, target stuff. Like I just kind of look through things. Um, not always social media. I may even wake up and read my reading plans if I'm, you know, behind on those, but I do a lot of that in those moments where no one is up. So I've learned to do that instead of doing all the finger, finger scrolling and wasting time. Cause that's what it is. I'm gonna be honest. It's wasting time when we're on those things. Um, I for like, I force myself to go to sleep You because just, yeah. I know if I don't go to sleep, you're going to be up. like, I'm going to be <laughs> editing. I'm going to be yeah. like my, my brain goes visually. I, I I actually do what I vision. So and I think mm -hmm. that that's the between me me and well, I call yeah. myself a one percenter, you know. Yeah. Cause, but cause you're I mean, you're different. You like that night where I was like, What's wrong? You was like, My mind just going, I, I just got that visions and I mean just things like the creative well, you said your creative flow or something along those and lines. And I think it's because what I'm listening to. Like yeah. what I'm being poured into and what I'm like the knowledge that opens, mm -hmm. like each book opens up a different knowledge, right. a different highway. I don't, I don't want to say a door, but just like a, a different highway yeah. of knowledge, a different highway yeah. of information. And I just want to maximize this for my, I mean, for my family, yeah. I mean, and for the people who are connected to me. And I know for me, I just don't want to change 
the financial growth as far as within my family, mm-hmm. but I want to do it also worldwide. Yeah. Starting with, you know, these communities first and doing things like that. But that takes maximizing time very well. Mm-hmm. And and if you don't live life intentionally mm-hmm. and you focus more so on the money I'm trying to tell you, maximize the time, you'll get the money. Yeah. And I and that's the one thing that you've helped me to see is that the money's gonna always come. But the the precious moments that happen in time will not always wait for me and then they won't always be there. Yeah. So I have to grasp I had to learn to grasp that because I'm like, ooh, we got, you know, this money and we gotta do this and this and this and this is important. And I just learned that whether it's that three dollars we had in that account one time, <laughs> sometimes mm-hmm. whether we w- whether sometimes whether I wake up and we in the negative, like it's like whoa, okay, so n- it's she's time. Being a pet. I do. I'm like, oh my god, baby, we in negative. Now I'm just be like, Oop, let me just transfer, <laughs> and it's still taking that time because the time I could have or used to waste on being so bogged down with. Finances and bills And do we have enough of this And do we have enough of that And can we get this right now Or can we get that And then It was like I wasted so much time Being in that To where all it did was create Stress, depression, anxiety Frustrations (laughs) Anger Or it would come out in the form of rage. I would shut down and isolate. So all of these things, and and I'm being very transparent, all of these things, for me, the money side did more harm to me than slowing down and taking the time to watch a movie with, you know, the girls, even if it's the same movie, over and over and over and over and over. And I mean, they like when I act silly. So even if it's acting silly, even like working out or, um, you know, our morning routine, that's been big too. the morning routine, because I wake up, I have my morning routine and then I know I have so much time to get them up, feed them, get them dressed because they're used to me spending that morning time with them. So that has become a big part of how I jumpstart my day as well is I may get up and I may have the intention on being on my phone, but I'm also not, and and this might just be a little bit transparent, too much transparent TMI, but bathroom time, my bathroom time is not an hour sitting scrolling. When I'm done, like I'm done. So I'm putting my phone down and I go do everything else. Whereas some people use that time to finger scroll. So yeah, the that little morning routine that I do sets my tone. And having, I'm going to call it positive time. Having positive time sets the rest of my day. I always feel like how you start your day is how you're going to end your day. Yeah. That's so true. Because, some, well, sometimes when I start my day and I'm tired, I push all the way through. <laughs> I'll be tired But lately um, I do But lately I've been really good And we've had We've had good mornings With the girls I think because they value That type of Yeah So yeah And it's You know I tickle them To wake them up Like I do I do fun stuff To wake them up Sometimes we sing songs Sometimes we're like Super duper loud Then they gotta ask Five million questions And then You know It's I know what they're gonna eat Every morning Because they're very predictable Mm -hmm. But I still Mm -hmm. ask them To make it feel like They're having a voice Um, Or so that they can Have a voice And understand that Whatever it is That they want um, They can have um, You know To their liking Depending on what it is Um, But You know Some requests are made and then I have to say okay no baby we got to do that on the weekend so I'm learning to even and I guess that's where it comes where you set your whole week but I guess I start planning my weekend earlier in the week based on what they're asking to do I think we do it but we just don't admit that we do it yeah but I don't like but you know I didn't like planning well you know that's what people do but I find myself um even with money, let, 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 let me tell you a secret that I that I I've, that I've number one picked up from 
reading his book, wealthy, mm-hmm. wealthy type of you know stuff. Because you know, wealthy people they value time more than they money do. all day, all day, and that's why they're in the position that they're in. Yeah, don't worry, I'll be there soon. But um, here's how they spend their money: if it's not investing to mm-hmm. the point where they can get that money back, then they don't. They don't do nothing with it, right? So they invest, Mm -hmm. and then with time, they create great memories. Mm -hmm. And I think that's that's what we as people like. We we lack that Mm -hmm. creating great memories and just being at the point where we value each Mm -hmm. other as Mm -hmm. as 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 a family, as a wife. I value what she does. I value what she brings to the table. I think we had a conversation with our sister today about uh, some units. <laughs> That's and, very uh, I don't I don't call them wigs. I call them yeah. units. But she was like, I spent X amount of dollars on this. And I was like, girl, you spent that? I was going to do it, but I just couldn't get myself to do it today. <laughs> and this is what I told her. And, it, and she was probably shocked to hear this coming from you know yeah. a male side. Yeah. But I said, if you... <laughs> Add up all the times that you go to the salon. Right. That unit, however much it costs, yeah. you're coming out paying way less. You are. And also. You're spending less time. You're spending less time. Sitting in a chair, wasting time. Sitting in time. a chair. Well, now, nah, hold up. Nah. Well, you're not wasting for you, time. For you, nah, <laughs> I don't want the salon for you to come at me. But. We're talking about time and money. Right. Some people like that. Now, if you, you can use that time for yourself. I, yeah, I love for like self-care the self-care yeah. type stuff. But at the end of the day, when you have a family and you want to maximize mm-hmm. your time, uh, I encourage women to do things that are beneficial for right. them. I mean, if, if a unit costs X amount of dollars... And you got to look at like this unit can be used in so many different Mm -hmm. multiple times, multiple times. And without you even having to like a couple of minutes, like, but I don't take it on. That's that. And (laughs) I support that. I'm a firm investment. I'm like invest in that. Yeah. Because that time that you sit in the chair, you could be creating memories with your your husband. You could be creating memories with your your child. So, Mm -hmm. you know. And that's, I'm all support for units. And that's <laughs> and that's and I did not put on a unit tonight. This is all yeah. Um, but that also too um plays a big role because a lot of time as women, because we work during the day, we have to go like on the what thir- the weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Those are the busiest times in a salon. So you are all going day. to be sitting sometimes all day, depending on what you got to do, depending on how many people are in front of you. Um, now, I can't say the, the person that did or that actually does my hair. It's an hour and a half tops. Like, that's it. That's all I'm going to get. It's me, quiet. Straight up self care So I know if I want that pampering mm-hmm. Then I will go do it But other than that Like like you said I don't have the time To take An hour and a half That's precious And especially on a week You know on a weekend or evening Because our evenings get hectic yeah. And they're busy And a lot of times the evenings You need You have to have that time So then I have to be there to step in and be here for the girls. And I also think that's, I think what I do, if I don't know how to do something, mm-hmm. I'll learn how to, it's like, I learn how to cut my own hair. Right. Because I don't want to be in the barbershop for that long. Yeah. And then when I came home, it was jacked up anyway. <laughs> you know, so it's just kind of like, you know, like, like I might as well go in here and just cut the thing myself. I might, I might as well jack it up myself. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, save me time and money. Right. So when COVID hit, I was like, I don't know what y'all good. talking about. <laughs> he was good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm about to go ahead and line this thing up right now. But, and then I started getting units. But for me, it's, yeah. it's, it's maximizing yeah. the most major, the most major mm-hmm. thing in the world. I don't know, majorist. Mm-hmm. But the most important thing. Mm-hmm. In the world, which is time, like right. like my wife said earlier, it's nothing that you can get back. Anything right. you can't get back, I would literally look Shh. at that even it's more priceless. in detail. Yeah, because 
the more time you spend finger strolling, mm-hmm. you can be looking at a trade or, or, or mm-hmm. a, some type of something that's going right. to maximize yourself, yeah. your learning capacity. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just this time in this money thing. I know a lot of people will focus on getting the bag, but right. I tell you this: secure, like, I gotta, sh- I gotta secure the bag. Like. It, it, if you don't secure that time, <laughs> you just maximize that time. You're not gonna get a you bag. You might as well forget that bag. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you now because yeah. if you, if <laughs> I know, I probably get a lot of flack for this, but I don't care. Go but ahead. listen, Please if don't you're waking line. up at twelve and one o'clock. Mm-hmm. The day's gone. You might as well get ready to fall back. Hey, to sleep. look, if on Saturday. Unless you work. Unless the, you work. Unless you weather, work. If the weather sirens waking you up, you sleep too late. Yeah. You know? But yeah. And I think for us, though, that's why I don't make a bit. Now, do, sometimes on Saturdays, I do take a nap. Like, I, I, I will if I wake well, hold up. Hold on. I never said. Don't take a nap. No, I'm just saying, like, because I look early. at, yeah, and then I take my nap, nap if nap. I need it. You know what I'm but then, too, but when I get up from that nap or before I take that nap, like, I chop off half of what it is that I need to do. So I don't just, so if I'm washing a load of clothes, like I'll just leave, I'm going to just let them clothes stay in the washer right now and then I'm going to take it. No, I make sure that everything is dry because that's usually Saturday. So I make sure every, all of my morning, as my kids are calling them now, all of the morning chores, they're done. And then I take my afternoon nap and then whatever else I need to do after that nap, then I knock that out. Mm-hmm. So I kind of schedule all of those things ahead of time, and then whatever I don't get to Saturday, I say okay. Sunday morning when I wake up before church, this is what I'm going to allocate that time to. Most wealthy people are up before Early, five. Before five, I ain't got there yet. You get up before five. Easy, though. yeah. And what they do, they do their meditation. Mm-hmm. This this their morning routine. Yeah, this is what I read. Unless right. people writing these books and lying, but I don't know. <laughs> but then <laughs> this is they what are. I hear. Right, they wake up early. I mm-hmm. know ET. He wakes up at three o'clock every day, clockwork, yeah. and they get up, do whatever they do as far mm-hmm. as the meditation, praying, do you know whatever they do. Then they work out for about a good hour, hour mm-hmm. and a half. Because it, it, I don't care what you say, if 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 you're not healthy, you ain't gonna be able to do, do nothing anything. with the money right. or with the wealth <laughs> or time or time. So <laughs> your time definitely cut short, right? And then they begin to work. Yeah. So about time seven to eight, they've done they've done what y'all do within the day, right? Just in two to three hours, and then they have that rest of that time, yeah, to take a nap, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's if they want to. Woo, yeah. And, and a lot of times they don't do that, though. They don't because, right. I mean, if you got 24 hours in a day, why not maximize? I mean, right. And if you start, if, and at first for me, it, it was challenging. But when I started to wake up each day around about like three, I tried, I, I, did, I, think, I think I did four. I was like, I'm going to do four. Yeah. And then, you know, I'm going to work my way back. I'm going to try. I know, then I'm going to try three. But. You did it with no problem. But that. It's a different atmosphere. Yeah. More. It is. Run up three and four. When I tell you. It's it quiet. It's so quiet. It's quiet. <laughs> it is so peaceful. Yeah. If you was to go outside at There's 3 a.m. I'm trying to tell you. It is the mo- one you of the most. outside at 3 a.m.? Yes. It, it's, oh. it's peaceful. I can't go outside. I'm when I tell you. The atmosphere is so different because i feel like nine times ten it's not enough it's not a lot of chaos yeah everybody's not up to i mean you don't i mean it, it's not a lot of negativity within mm-hmm. the air at that time and it's something that i've always cherished like that's that's one of my most intimate times with god and you know i've learned to really enjoy that like mm-hmm. from my drive and and, and and different other stuff like that. I'm trying to tell you, like time, time, time. If yeah. you don't, if you don't maximize your time, then you'll be on that same hamster wheel. Yeah, and you'll just be you'll continue to repeat the same cycle. Um, 
my mama probably going to get me. She's asleep right now. So I'm going to just throw her under the bus real quick. But um, with her, since I was a little girl and I can remember, she always had a certain day and a certain time mm-hmm. allotment to clean, y'all. Man, and I ain't talking this. about y'all just like, you know, sweep. Sweep a little. No, I'm talking about like hard down, cleaning the floors, cleaning the rooms that ain't nobody been in, and cleaning the bathrooms ain't nobody been. In. Yeah, she'll get you that yeah. One. folding clothes, mopping, like head dusting everything, and like up from, and she does it from the time she hits her house, as soon as she hit the door. It goes, and now she complains. She gonna get me, y'all. Oh, she gonna get me. She complains a lot that you know it's so much. Like her weekend goes by so quick, but she gonna get me. She, y'all, she gonna get me. But, but this is so good because, like you said, if we took the time, like she's all of her time on a Friday night is going towards work. Like, oh. Is going towards her cleaning. So mm-hmm. she's already tired getting off from work. And then she cleaning till midnight or a little bit after. Then sometimes she wake up early on a Saturday. And she got to finish whatever. Run her little errands. So she's like her weekend is already gone. And so the one and, and it's and and like I said, it's the time and how we utilize it. Yeah. I tried to do y'all. I'm going to tell you, I tried to do certain stuff on certain days and it had no, mm-mm, it don't work for me. It 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 does not. No, I, I'm not going to dust. <laughs> I'm not going to clean a room we're not in. I'm going to clean the main areas and we have certain we don't even have certain days we do that. I think for the throughout the week I'm clean. Yeah, but yeah, because yeah, well, like, yeah, you clean through the like, week, and then I pick up whatever on the weekend. Yeah. But the only thing that I definitely do is I don't let washing go all day. By what four? I'll say by four, I'm done with washing. Like I get up, I start it as soon as I hit the you know hit the floor, and that way I'm not spending my whole afternoon folding clothes. But then I've also learned to make that. As some me time because it makes me feel happy, which is probably weird for some people. It makes me feel happy to be able to wash and fold my clothes. So it's yeah, I feel I feel accomplished when I can wash and fold clothes. And then of course my husband will come behind me and take the clothes that I folded, and then he'll put up put them up. Um, So it it definitely does balance it out because if I had to put the clothes up to y'all, ooh, sometimes they don't get put up to the end of the week. No, me, I can do it all. And he does it, yeah. He'll do it all, but he spaces out. He spaces out. You space out your time. And then how you prioritize things, saying, from this time to this time, I'm going to be doing this. And from this time to this time, like, that's how you set your day. I like multiple things going on. Like, right. I throw a load of clothes in, and then I go cut the grass. Yeah. I know once I'm finished cutting the grass, the clothes be finished washing. Mm -hmm. So then... I take that, fold it, fold it, mm-hmm. maximizing time. I mean, yeah, and then we just learn that you know the flow of money is gonna come regardless, and so we don't focus so much on that. Ooh, y'all, let me tell y'all what happened to me last night. <laughs> I was pretty much tired, is what I think it was, and then something got in my eye, and I'm playing with my eye, and I'm paying bills. You. Y'all, rest is the key. <laughs> Life. So I was paying the bills, right? And I was like, let me just go ahead and pay all the bills right now. And it wasn't really late. It was what, eight, something? I don't know. But anyway, I accidentally paid like two months, <laughs> paid both months for our phone bill. And I was like, oh, bae. And he was like, and? <laughs> yes, and I'm like, bae, but we didn't have that extra. And I was like, now I'm about to move money to the savings and we, you know, from the savings and we trying to save. And he was like, and I was like, and so your next step, you're going to tell me to do what I need to do. <laughs> he was like, and so I was like, okay, well, thank you, Lord, that we had the money in the savings to be able to First cover it. Off. Like, <laughs> so that was like, I had spent all that effort. Those few moments where I could have just did what I had to do, close the laptop and be away. But that moment of 
could have turned into me spazzing out, which would have resulted in a loss of time last night. But just a simple me able to recognize that I can't let the money influence me like that. Then it just it was like, OK, finances actually yeah. in marriages. What I heard. Yeah. What I heard. Yeah. We've heard. Yeah. We've heard that from several people that the finances, and I'm so glad that we're able to get it becomes through a strain. that. Yeah. It becomes a strain on the um, marriage, is what I heard. Mm-hmm. And I think for me, I don't put that much power and effort right. into something that I can always get back. Yeah. And that's, the yeah. Situation. And that's one thing that you have always shown or said to me, or because I, y'all, I'm always like, babe, I'm gonna go spend this, and then I gotta get. And he's like, babe, you don't have to. And that's just me saying, hey, this is what I'm doing, so that we kind of both know where the money is going. Because if it's a frivolous purchase, then sometimes it might not be something that I need right away. But there, if there's something where he understands that it's gonna help with one self care. Two, it's going to help me to be able to manage my time. He's all for it. I'm so, I'm I'm just a firm supporter in. Um, I think life already controls us. Number one, mm-hmm. being that we it, it throws us to and fro, and for me to say don't do this and don't not 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 to say that I'm just a, a yes man, but no, he's not a yes. <laughs> I'm just like I don't have energy to put in something that right. I know that I can change. Okay, mm-hmm. we went over a little extra this. Okay, well then I just have to do this and flip this and move this around. Mm-hmm. When I say flip, I'm not talking about drugs. I'm just talking about <laughs> I have different businesses that right. I have accounts in, so I can just move this over. Move, yeah. Okay, instead of paying this with the personal stuff, mm-hmm. I'll go ahead and chip off a little bit with the uh, business account. Mm-hmm. And it all works hand in hand. But yeah. That's just me maximizing time. Yeah. Cause you do, you're able, I mean, because we're able to maximize the time the way we, the way we can, um, or have been able to, I can still do nine to five and then come in and help out with businesses as well. While you're just straight businesses all day, multiple <laughs> businesses all day and still able to juggle and be, um, daddy teacher. I mean, teacher, I, teacher boo. I've had a lot of training. Teacher, <laughs> teacher boo all day, um, and then managed to be cafeteria chef and and chef for the family. So you do have a great ability to um, make sure that your time is is well spent. It's called being fully invested. Yeah. And you remember when you used to spend like you would go to the store and say I'm gonna spend twenty dollars and that's it. And I was like, yeah, right. right now. Y'all, he used to go when we first got married and and all of that. He used to say, "Give me twenty dollars and I'm gonna get everything we need." Guarantee with Twenty dollars. I'm like, dude, you cannot go to a store and just spend twenty dollars, y'all. I would check the account after he came from the store, twenty dollars, and he had a boatload of stuff, like sure, bags on bags, tell you. bags on sure bags. So that's when you. I knew then, though, that you were not a careless person with money, and you would. Sh- you would make sure that it stretched if it needed to. So that was one of the things that, um, you know, I realized early on about you. And then, of course, you've al- I've always known that you knew how to manage your time. So in the closing of this podcast, um, as my uh, daughter comes in here, might as well <laughs> go ahead and bring her on in. She's coming. Um, you want to be? No. Time. And money. Time and money. What's important to you? To me, time will always outweigh money. Yeah. Time is time is of the essence and it's important. Time is family. Yeah. Time is money. Time is self investment and investments in your businesses. All day. And take time. Number one for God. Take time for yes. yourself. Take yes. time for your family. Take time to maximize yeah. the life and the time that you have. And stop finger strolling for nothing, man. If that finger ain't strolling to some money. Don't. Stop. Like, stop. Please. And I know. And then this is one big thing, too. 
I know that all of these phones now have timers for every single app. Instagram, Facebook, regular Google Chrome, YouTube, Put, I even set a timer at night for mine to automatically turn gray so there's no color coming from it and for it to automatically go in to do not disturb mode. Um, I don't stick with it because I'm still up sometimes. But set that timer so that you can use those moments to invest in your family and then get the appropriate amount of rest that you need. Yeah, it's important, man. It is. And... uh I'm Mr. Made Over. And I am Mrs. Made Over. And thank you for watching. Like we always say, keep God first. And the rest will be added. And we out. We out.